So the city of Toronto um, itself has existed since 1834. Many years ago I visited the archives that were in the basement of City Hall. We're now in a grander building. Uh, this was purpose-built in 1992. The difference between a library and an archives is that libraries have predominantly published material and archives have predominantly one-of-a-kind pieces like diaries, letters, uh, manuscripts maps, photographs. The libraries make things accessible and you can take them home. We have one-of-a-kind pieces so they stay here. We've got a lot of boxes, about 150,000 boxes in this building, much of it archival material. People can request to see this and then uh, open a box in our research hall. So in this room we have climate control, we have smoke detectors, we have freezers if anything should get wet we can put them into the freezer and then dry things one at a time page by page in a controlled fashion. So we have protocols, we have a backup generator that just went onto the roof, um, the material here is quite safe. We also have school groups come here, and we have a group about to come in. Um, they're studying the book In the Skin of the Lion by Michael Andante. So we've got the Don River here, small bridges. A lot of uh, In the Skin of the Lion is the construction of the Bloor Street Viaduct. And this is that huge project. So earlier, but in the book, there's a solution to the Ambrose Small mystery. So coming into the archives and dealing with archival material is a very personal experience. And everyone is going to bring their own experience to the documents. And I think of these as all potential seeds where they can just, ideas can develop from these foundations. Uh, people can design new things, people can learn from the past, people might develop new stories. There's people who can imagine the city of 20 years from now. And we've got a group of grade threes that come in regularly and part of the exercise is there to imagine a city in 50 years and what technology might exist that would change the appearance of the city. And by most of their views, we don't need subways. We'll be flying cars. And it's sort of uh, the stories of the past and helping the creativity f into the future. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.